Right, cheers. Cheers, Charlie. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Email World. Merry Christmas, everyone. Jing. Welcome to the penultimate episode of Email World TV. The first topic is about Oath. Before we had Yahoo and AOL merge, they were called Oath. And now, by all accounts, they're getting rebranded for their parent company, Verizon Media Group. I'd imagine this makes sense. In the future, we'll probably see more optimizations to streamline their business. We've already seen some Yahoo and AOL merging in the sense of email marketing and how we can get support from that. Next bit of news that come to my attention last week, Email Expert have, have been working on for over a year their new product. EmailExpert.org have relaunching their website next year. Check it out. You can sign up to get any updates of when it's launched. This is why I love email, because of the community. If I understand correctly, this is, could be a one-stop shop of where you need to go when you're looking for consultants, when you're looking for vendors, for contacts, for perhaps feedback, a direct loop into what you're looking for. I really like the idea already, although it's just a print screen, I'm sure it's gonna be great. I didn't use it before, so I'm really looking forward to it. Check it out, emailexpert.org. Subject line of the week, sent in by Tina Losasso. Get your ship together. Great little subject line she received from Uncommon Goods. Unique gifts. Good subject line, thank you. Do you know that 40% of B2B marketers rated the leads generated by email marketing as high quality? This year, particularly in the second half of the year, we've been talking a lot about artificial intelligence in email. Last week, emailbot.io landed on my desk. What is it? By the looks of things, they're using artificial intelligence to ensure that your bulk emails do not go to spam. How do they do that? I don't think they're going to give the game away that easy. We'd be interested to know more. If anyone's used this service, I would also like to know more. So be interested to hear your thoughts about it. By all accounts, they have over 20 servers, including SMTP and MailChimps. Mail chimps, like they've got multiple chimps running around. Mail chimp. Enough about bots for the moment, let's talk about superhumans. And I'm not talking about this little dude over here. Superhuman.com, what is it? The fastest email experience ever made. By the looks of things, it looks like a couple of product owners from Google have went on and formed a company of their own. And it's looking to make it quite efficient in terms of your emails and make it really quick, the user engagement, excuse me, the user, uh, it's very user friendly and it takes less than X amount of a second, 100 milliseconds rule to do anything. So it looks like it's very much user centric and really tailored for the users it's themselves. I think you need an invite. I've requested access. Again, be interested to know if you know more about that. Everyone wants to organize their inbox better and be reading the emails more efficiently. Superhuman.com. Next up, B2B email deliverability issues, Office 365s and G Suite. Here's a great read from Tim at Zetasphere, basically saying that over 50% now of B2B emails inboxes have shared the same filtering technologies as B2C lists, which is really surprising. Back in the day, it was a lot different and it included a lot many more challenges. Now we're looking at a big influx, influx of Office 365 G Suite adoption. Here you've got some stats. I keep sniffing apologies for that. The filters are changing, they're updating. It's important that we know the challenges ahead for next year and how we can um, approach these, particularly in inbox placement rates and being clever enough to ensure that we're passing the filters. <gasps> That's gone next year. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Everyone, here's Charlie, the cameraman and lighting man. Thanks very much for this year. Cheers. Santa babe. Why does Santa have free gardens? I don't know. So he can s ho ho ho. Oh god. He said it. Oh, no, you gotta do that. Do it in your hand. Santa baby, I want a yacht, and really, that's not. You gotta guess it. What's bed? <laughs> What's bad tempered and goes with custard?
Apple well. Grumble. Pathetic. Um, Are you doing more of them? No, we do one more, and then you, you got. I got to guess one. Okay, yes. you won that one. There's nothing in here. There must be a joke in there. So oh. Read the joke out. Don't tell me the answer though. Of course, I'd get given this one. How do sheep greet each other at Christmas? Don't tell me. Christmas to Evie Wee. Evie. Next week we're shooting in New York for a couple of weeks. If you want to collab and you're out there, let us know, get in touch. Unfortunately, Charlie can't be with me this time, but uh, we'll sort something out for the camera. Cheers and stay tuned. Happy holidays.